All right, we can uh, finally dump out this cooler and get the fish. Oh my God, it's heavy. Never had a cooler heavy like this before. But let's get a nice little layout here. Let's put it in the shade. any shade over here. Oh, carried it all the way over here for no reason. Ooh. My hands are actually really sore from yesterday's fishing. Do it right here. Ooh. It's hot out. Check out that cooler. Huh, spider just crawled up on her. Black drum here, get off. I'm excited to try these. We haven't had, I haven't had red drum in a few years, so I don't remember what it's like. And I've never had black drum, so. I'll share my experience here with you all. Oh yeah, that's a heavy cooler by itself. It's probably like 15 pounds. Alrighty, we'll go ahead and start cleaning up our fish. I've sharpened our knife here. We'll start with this black drum since it's up top. I think what I'm gonna do is scale and let's see. We'll scale and fillet and leave the skin on. I like eating the skin on fish. It's usually where you get your nice oils. Get our trusty old spoon here. Look how huge the scales are. I'm really excited to try. I heard it's a nice white flaky meat. And that's what I like to hear. We'll be doing it three different ways or four different ways, five different ways. We'll find out here. Definitely doing one on the grill. We'll do one ceviche, of course. We'll fry one, because fried black drum sounds incredible. And maybe we'll uh, do one whole for a bake. Who, who knows? I'm gonna give one to my cousin. He's gonna let me use his food saver to help preserve a lot of these fillets. This is the first time I've scaled with the fins on and not hurt myself yet. I've got some more scales right here. one we'll go ahead and put it there and we'll do this with every fish so I'll get back to you guys when I'm done after a few minutes here finally made it to the bottom this is oh my goodness this is a giant black drum can't even get my hand around it it's got to be probably five pounds let's actually weigh it let's see before we scale it and it's gonna have lost a little bit of weight it spent the night on the cooler. So this goes up to 11 pounds. It's definitely not 11. It's pound ounce. Oh no, maybe not five. It just felt like it to me. Let's put it sideways. It's almost three pounds. Wow, big fish. Him scaled up. We've got all of them scaled right here. I'm going to leave 
this largest one whole like we did the flounder, that last flounder, and we'll do another catch and cook with grandma. She'll probably make it the same way. You know how grandmas are. Man, these are pretty hard to scale with this little skinny scaler here. Having to take a break every few seconds from my arthritis. Time to call grandma, see if she wants to head on for this one. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice mm. message system. She'll call back, she'll call back. I'll try one more time. Uh. Hello, Teta. Hello, hello. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> I have a big fish for you again. Oh, no. Yes. Yes. When? When you got it? Uh, yesterday I catch it. El flounder? Flounder? La Michel flounder. <laughs> this one new samaka, black drum. I don't think we no. tried it before. No. Yeah. Okay, okay. You want me no, to what? leave the head on it? No, no. Take no. the head off. Yes. Okay. You want me to leave the fins? Or take the fins off. Ah. Of course, of course. Leave it or remove it? Remove it, Okay, I'll remove it. Yes, I'm cleaning the fish. I will. All right, I'll see you soon. Okay, bye bye. Bye. <laughs> All right, we heard grandma. She wants it cleaned off from the head and the fins taken off. So we'll do it just like the flounder here. We'll go ahead and start cleaning him up. Oh man, maybe not those. We'll probably need some shears. Yeah, <laughs> we need some shears. Okay, we'll leave the fins on. Can't get them off with the scissors. So we'll start from here, the anus, go up, and we're going to cut back, from over here, try and save as much of the meat as we can. Try not to cut into the guts there. Well, there's gonna be a lot of meat that we miss if we... I'll show you guys what I mean by a lot of meat that we missed. If grandma saw, she would be disappointed. Now we can go ahead and break the head off, grabbing out all of the guts with it. Can you grab me a bag, please, Mother? I put these in it. I feel like this is the biggest fish I've cleaned, at least recently, besides the flounder from Myrtle.
man, have I made the house stink up. I'm gonna save all of these carcasses and heads for some crabbing soon. I'm gonna get a crab pot and explore the world of crabbing. Man, these intestines and stuff really stick here. It's pretty cool. We'll inspect for worms and whatnot. Because with black drum, you want to eat the smaller ones. The larger they get, the more likely they are to have parasites and worms. Um, do we have any gallon size Ziploc bags? So I'm just going to rinse it from the outside here. And a little on the inside. We've got some more scales here to remove. Sweet. Thanks. I'll put this in there. We'll eat this one with Teta again and do a catch and cook with her. fish out of that running you know, water there okay so this drum is fixed there it's going to be ready for grandma to marinate for us for a nice cleanup i haven't cut the slits in it we'll do that when we come to cook it up but check out how thick that meat is pretty sweet and it came out to almost three pounds Alrighty, so black drum there, we'll go ahead and label it for grandma, put the date on there. Start with a smaller one here for a fillet so that we get our practice in for those bigger ones. We've got some scales to clean off here still. We didn't do too great of a job there. I'm fired. Alright. <laughs> Did you go? So this should be pretty easy to fillet since we've got a lot of meat here. Looks like the bone structure is pretty big. And I use the same guidelines for filleting all my fish. I don't watch videos on how to do each one, except for I did watch Flounder when I was younger. <sighs> good looking meat on it, really good looking meat. the ribs maybe can't do it so cleanly
look like going around is going to be any easy. Let's see. I'm trying to separate these from our drum here. Perfect. Cutting in the ribs, and then I can just remove it off. All right, there we go. Not too bad there. It's a good looking fillet there, you guys. Nice stuff. Here's the other side for you to look at. And that's my first ever black drum fillet. And I've left the uh, rib bones here. There's quite a bit of meat, so I'm just gonna leave it. Um, and when we fry it, you can just eat around it. We'll see how that goes. other side done.
as if this brings you just a little closer to those men who are going into the hottest spots. I hope that it will help you to do a better job. That's what I want to touch it too. Yeah, you can touch it. Yeah. Oh, you're trying to get a video or a picture? Picture. Video. Nice. So because of the thickness of these black drum chunks here, I've...